Hello folks, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to provision an EC2 instance using Puppet. All right, so this is my website folks, coachdevops.com. I will be posting the link right below the video as well. So in our previous video, we learned how to set up Puppet Master on AWS. But this video, we are going to learn how to spin up a EC2 instance in AWS using Puppet Master. And then we would be writing something called Puppet Manifest in order to uh, provision this EC2 instance in AWS Cloud. Awesome. So let's get started. So if you look at the prerequests, yes, we need to make sure that our Puppet Master has to be up and running. So if you do see here, this is my Puppet Master, which is up and running. Okay. And then we need to make sure uh, we, we need to have access key in secret key. So I'm going to show you how to create that access key in secret key. Right. So let's get started here. Let me first connect to my uh, Puppet Master. Okay, so I'm connected to my Puppet Master. Okay, great. And then let's try to create, let's create uh, our access key and secret key. The way you can do that is go to my security credentials. And then click on access key and secret key. The way you can create access key and secret key is by clicking on this this one. Okay. And then see here. Now our access key and secret key got created. And then you can go ahead and then download it. And of course, you can also view that here as well. Okay. So that is your access key and secret key. And of course, right after this video, I'm going to delete this. Okay. So no one would be able to use this. All right. Okay. So we are good with that, right? And then uh, what we need to do is we need to create this credential file, okay? Uh, before that, we need to create this directory, right? Okay, and then let's go ahead and then create this credential file. And I'm going to copy and paste all these things, right? And make sure you don't have any space here. In the very first line, no space. Okay, so we are going to access, we are going to put in the access key and secret key. That's my secret key. While you copy and paste, sometimes it may add a space here, but make sure you don't have any space. Perfect. So we have added our uh, access key and secret key. Perfect. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to execute this particular command. So printed about all the EC2 instances which I have under my account, right? So it means that using Puppet, I'm able to access AWS Cloud, right? So if you look at this diagram, right? So yes, this is our Puppet, right? And then we have uh, provided our access key and secret key. So using Puppet, you know, you can access AWS Cloud, right? So we were able to do that, okay? And then the next step is we are going to write some Puppet manifest in order to uh, you know create an ec2 instance in aws cloud right so that's what we are going to do for that we need to um, install gems and all we have already done that you know as part of our previous lab okay all right so let's move forward and then what i'm going to do um, i'm going to go ahead and then you know i'm going to go into this directory okay so this is a modules directory and i don't have anything over there and then i'm going to go ahead and then create a directory here and then go inside the directory okay and then what i'm going to do i'm going to create my first manifest okay because our goal is to spin up an ec2 instance in the aws cloud right so how do you do that so go ahead and then create this file create ec2.pp and then we are going to copy and paste this code i will definitely explain you what we are doing here so these are nothing but puppet manifest right okay yeah so this block of the code is for the ec2 instance and then this block of the code is for the security group okay and if you look at the security group right uh, you see here so this is the name of the security group and this is our region and I want to make sure that security group is created, right? So you just have to declare the state, state of the resource, right? Percent or something like that. 
and then we want to open up a uh, couple of port numbers here actually three port number 8080 all uh, right that's your ca cadr block right and then this is port 80 and then this is port number 22 right and then this is for uh, your ec2 instance right this is for your ec2 instance and you see here this is where we are attaching this security group what we are just creating to the ec2 instance right okay and then these are your uh, you know image id and whatnot aim id and all so how we are going to pick up this one so let me quickly show you let's say that you want to spin up a ubuntu ec2 instance right so all you have to do is go to aws cloud okay and then launch instance so you need to have the aim id right let's say you are going to uh, spin up a ubuntu 18.04 you just have to copy this aim id right if you want to do that or if you want to spin up a ubuntu 20.04 then you are going to copy the specific ama id right and the ama ids are you know unique per region okay since i am under uh, you know us east 2 so this is my code but if you are in a different region uh, a different data center your ama id would be different okay all right so let me go ahead and then make that change here perfect all right and then uh, what is my key name so that is nothing but what is your key name right so it's like you know um, what is the key you want to attach to that ec2 instance okay so if you look at the key pair i do have a bunch of keys but i want to use this particular key right so go ahead and then mention that key name over there you don't have to give dot perm extension just the key name okay and then if you see here you need to also enter the subnet information too, right, for Puppet. So how do you get that? So all you have to do is go to services and type VPC or of course, you know, you can also directly click on here or of course you can type VPC here also. So go to your VPC dashboard. So that's our VPC dashboard. And then if you look at uh, subnets, click on the subnets, okay, so basically uh, you know as you can see here so this is the subnet id and this is the name right sometime in aws uh, console this value may be empty see here it may be something like this all the entry uh, you know can be empty so what you have to do is copy the corresponding id and then put that as your name okay and then you can use any one of the uh, you know subnet name okay so i'm going to use this one right I think that's what I also have over there ending in AB7. Yeah, see, that's what I have here ending AB7. So I think I'm good there. So I'm not going to modify that. Okay. You can use any one of the subnets here. Okay. Perfect. So that's all, right? So basically you have two different block of code, one for your EC2 instance, and then another one is for your security group. Okay. Perfect. So let me come out of this. Let me save this file. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and then execute this command. Okay, so what this is going to do, this is going to go ahead and then, you know, create, uh, you know, the EC2 instance in the AWS cloud. Okay, so the command is puppet apply, right? Puppet apply and then the file name. Okay, so this may take a couple of seconds. So let's go to AWS console ec2 dashboard let's first make sure you know this instance is coming up and if you see here what is the uh, name that this is the label name puppet agent right that is the label name or the tag name okay wow see here this it has completed okay so let me go to my dashboard and then say refresh here and we should see that two instances are running wow well, okay, only one running. I think when we click on it, it should come up. Let me refresh. Let me see here. Wow, see here? So this is the one which is currently trying to come up. It's going to take a couple of seconds. Wow, see here? So this is the one which we just provision. Okay, and if you want to see this, right like uh, the security group and other information let's go there okay let me bring this up wow see this is the name of the security group and if you all remember we've opened up three different port right like 80 80 80 and then 22 perfect right that's it guys you know that's how you can 
spin up an EC2 instance in AWS Cloud using Puppet Master. Thank you for watching.